53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up. Uh, Hello, welcome back. This is your MTR tutorial. Muscle threat reaction. Falcon 4.0 features many lethal enemy threat systems, but all these systems have weaknesses. The jets are all the same. The pilot is the one that makes the difference. I will show you the procedures and maneuvers to defeat both SAMs, surface to air missiles, and AMs, air to air missiles. Your judgment and flying skills will determine success or failure. Your F 16 has a very nice threat warning system. It will show you different cues and symbols and it will tell you where they are and what can you do to avoid them so let's start with those first alright so here on the left side is the TWS warning lights the TWS or threat warning system is an ALR 69 it consists on a scope and a series of lights that will display SAMS and AMS warning lights. It will not show any IR missiles. That means infrared missiles will not be displayed on this threat warning system. And this panel is called the left eyebrow warning lights panel. So you will see all the warnings on this particular left side of your cockpit. The IR missiles or infrared missiles are the reason why all of a sudden you're flying nice and smooth and BAM you're blown out of the sky. We'll talk about the missiles in a little bit. Right now I just want to show you the next part of your threat warning system which is the RWR or radar warning receiver. This one display threats according to their bearing and radar strength. The stronger the signal the closer to the center they will be. You are in the center so if the targets are in front of you they will display right at your 12 o'clock. If you are behind you they will display at your six. So these two systems will work together showing you where the enemy is and what kind of threat is coming to get you. So let's see how you turn this system on. So if you go down and to your left or around your left knee you will see this small panel and this is the wor threat warning auxiliary panel and you have these four buttons it's very simple but let me just show you how it works the power is basically you know to turn it on now you can see all your threat and activity power just went on it's telling you that we have some SAM activity in this area you can click that one if it wasn't lit but right now it's just telling you that there's activity in this area. The S or search. You will press it to display search radar on the RWR. When this button is pressed, the TWS detects a radar emitter in search mode and displayed an S on your RWR indicating bearing and proximity and the low altitude one when you press it it will give you that sound that is telling you that it's detecting some low activity radar 
is searching for threats at low altitude such as AAA guns, triple A guns, and low altitude sounds. And it will identify with that sound that you are hearing. Also, when it's not lit, it will display more dangerous threats at higher altitudes. So this is when you're flying low and trying to see if there's guns ahead of you that could get you so it will tell you if they're around you but if you're flying at high altitudes it will just display the regular activity like SAMs and air-to-air -air missiles that's it, this is how you turn it on that's how you turn it off if you just went down to display you just press it press it again same with activity and SAM so there it is, it's active now you can go back up and if there's word any threats it will be displayed right there just remember you are in the middle this is your 12 o'clock this is your 6 o'clock 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock and all that around you is the area where they will display all the different threats and warning lights now let's talk about your threat warning system buttons. This is displaying this right now. You can see a 16 probably is your F-16 wingman and a 29 which is a MiG-29 right Two in position. That was your wingman. Right out of your lethal threat circle. This is your smaller circle. This is the big one. This is inside the lethal area so we'll talk about those later but right now I'm just talking about the handoff button which is the first one right here basically what it does is overwrite what the radar is currently telling you so if you press it once you see the diamond went away from the F-16 press it again and now you have priority on the MiG-29 so basically you rotate your targets giving them priority based on what you want to hit first or what plane is closer to you which is in position. the middle circle so that middle circle shows you what's more dangerous towards you now I'm gonna turn around towards that F I mean make 29 and um, you can see how they move now he's on my nine o'clock you see I'm turning left and he's gonna be in front of me right there so there it is I'm gonna speed up a little and I'm gonna make that guy fire at me so you can hear I know it sounds pretty crazy, but it's the only way you can see how these lights work. So let me see if he's gonna fire. That's the first one. And the second one. Now you can hear that. Let me pause it. The second one, the very fast um, sound that you hear, means that it is very, very close and you are in deep, deep trouble. So that missile is about to get you and you have about 16 seconds for you to evade the missile. So good luck with that. So don't ever let it get that close. I'll show you how to do it later, so uh, don't worry about it.